I'm gonna be honest, with this video I'm gonna be a little bit out of my element. See, in the past I've gotten tons of requests to do something with Mortal Kombat characters, and as someone who claims to run the Nerdy Start channel on YouTube, I try to keep up to date on all different pop culture, nerdy kinda realms and worlds, but I know very little about Mortal Kombat characters, which is why I've been avoiding making a video on it. But, you know what? It's time to just jump right in and do one anyway. The character designs in it are really cool, and I know there's something fun I could do with them. In fact, I'm gonna steal a play right out of James Reyes, the box office artist's book, and take a whole bunch of different characters from the Mortal Kombat universe and combine them into one single awesome epic character. This is something the box office artist has done with Batman villains and the Avengers and I think the Justice League and a whole bunch of different stuff. I'll link some of those in the description if you haven't seen them. But I thought that was a fun idea, plus because this week I'm experimenting with some different lengths of videos and different kinds of videos. I thought, eh, let's see how people react to a video where I draw just one single character and edit it a little differently. I wonder what the watch through time is going to be like on this. I mean, that's not stuff you guys have to care about. It's YouTube algorithm stuff that I have to think about. But let's see what happens. First, I got to go through some of the characters and pick some elements that I like between each of them. So let's jump into that now. <laughs> Okay, so I don't actually know how many characters I'm going to get into this thing, I'm gonna target about 10, but I've taken notes on a whole bunch of the different characters from the Mortal Kombat 11 website, seeing what design elements I like best from each character. I really like Jade's design, so I think I'm gonna use something from her. I, I like her mask, but I think for the mask I've gotta go something that's kind of a fusion between Sub-Zero and Scorpion, because those are two of the most iconic characters from the franchise. I'm also definitely gonna have Scorpion's Chain Whip weapon. I feel like I have to put Raiden's hat in there, because as someone who doesn't know the franchise that well, Raiden is one of the first characters I think of when I think of Mortal Kombat. I also tend to think of the four-armed guy, Goro, but I saw that he doesn't seem to be on the roster for Mortal Kombat 11, but there's a female member from his race named Shiva who is in a DLC or something. But either way, that species, Goro's species, strikes me as an iconic part of the franchise as well. So I feel like giving the character four arms would be good in terms of pulling something from that race of characters, as well as just giving me more room to add design elements from other characters. There's a lot of other cool characters with design elements that I really like, but I'll talk about them as I'm actually getting into the drawing, which we can do now. Let's go! Now, for a piece like this, I do want the final drawing to be a nice, cool, finished-looking poster, but one thing I have to keep in mind is that the big focus of this piece is the character design, and if I do a pose that's too dynamic and has the character lunging straight at the camera or something like that, too many of its body parts will be obscuring other parts of its body, and then I lose space to add in the design elements that I need. So I think the pose that I've got here is a nice balance between being dynamic enough, but also showing off the character's whole body and all the different weapons that it's holding in its four arms. And once I figured out this pose, it was a lot of fun adding in all the little details from every part of the character. It kind of felt like doing the Transformers episodes, because in those episodes more so than some other ones on the channel, I have to think about how I'm designing every single little bit of the character, like on this piece. Whereas a lot of the time with human characters, I kind of know like, well maybe a whole arm will be covered by one sleeve or something like that. There are fewer design elements to think about. With this one, one thing that I really liked to help keep my focus was thinking about how I was going to get people to look at the character's head. And there were a lot of design elements from the different characters in Mortal Kombat that really helped me with that. For one thing, Raiden's hat, as I said I was going to work in there, fit really nicely. Scorpion's hood helped focus on that area as well, because what I did was the hat and the hood cast a lot of shadow on the character, so there's a lot of really stark black in there once I get into the inking stage, and then I make the eyes Raiden's red glowing eye color, so they really pop out against the black all around them. 
Another thing that worked really nicely was having Cetrion's green glowing rock gem things around the character's head. That was a really nice way to get us to focus on the character's head. They frame him really nicely. And then Scorpion's whip chain thing combined with the Jax Briggs arms with some other character designs in there make this nice sort of semi-circle framing device around the character's head again. So there's just a whole bunch of different elements that focus us in on the character's head. And then for the background, I just went with the Nether Realm as the background because I thought it would be easier to just use some cool jutting kinds of rocks to help circle us in more on the character in general. And then in the inking stage, I was trying to push my line weight more than usual. That's something I always try to focus on a little bit in my drawings. I've talked about it plenty of times on the channel using different line weights, but this one I try to push it even more because I knew I would need a lot of really small line weight elements in here because it's a much more detailed character design. So I thought, well, if I'm gonna have the smaller elements in there, let's keep the outside lines kind of nice and thick too. I end up going in and adding some thicker ones near the end and it just, there's a nice big range of line weights in there that I think work really well for the piece. Also, now that I'm into the lower half of the character, I should say one of my favorite designs from this game was a character I hadn't heard of, Frost. I used her thighs for this character. She's a really cool looking character, didn't know her before this, but after this I'm gonna use her character design for some more inspiration on stuff. She's really cool looking. Anyway, we've wrapped up the inking stage, so here's what the inks turned out like. Now we're about to get into coloring and this is going to be an interesting step because if I were to just color all the pieces of this character the same color that they were on their original characters, then the piece would probably look like a bit of a schmozzled mess and we don't really want that. So I'm going to make my own color scheme for this character based off of a lot of the recurring colors I'm seeing here, which is... It seems like a lot of it is yellow and green, and then a bunch of blue as well. So I'm probably going to lean into green the most, because I know the background is going to be the nether realm stage, that it's very, like, red and black kind of looking, so the green will stand out nicely against that. Now the coloring process for this actually went smoother than I thought it was going to. I did obviously change up a bunch of the character's design elements, but I did keep some the same as well. And actually I'd say probably my favorite part of this whole piece is the big chest plate, which I actually converted Jade's chest plate into a sort of male equivalent chest plate. And I think that works really nicely and it's kind of a nice breath of air, it's a, a space that I could make not too detailed, while the rest of the character is a lot of details and bits and spikes and all that kind of stuff. I think the green as the sort of connective tissue of the whole character works really well, and then I have a few slight pops of red in there which kind of match the background and draw us into that part of the character because they're the only little bits of red on the character surrounded by the green of the piece and as well as some gray and blue and a bunch of yellow. I think the yellow works really nicely as sort of the pop colors, the, the rim colors on a whole bunch of different stuff and on some of the weapons. I am curious if a Mortal Kombat fan looked at this piece without having seen the video and the drawing of it, how many character design elements they'd be able to pick out. Because I am changing the color of things from different characters, it might not be as many as I'd think, but I don't know, I'd hope that people would be able to get at least 10 characters by looking at this, but I would be curious, of course. Nobody in these comments can really answer because you've been watching the video to this point. But hopefully, knowing the process, you can still look at this and see a bunch of the different characters that I'm taking from. That's the point of this video. That wasn't even worth saying. Oh well, anyway, I'm running out of things to say, but we're coming down to the end of the drawing, so I hope you all like the finished version. So I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with it. Here it is. I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually know how many characters I ended up getting into this thing. I can count around 
15 or 16, but in the end, I am pretty happy with how this came together. I think, in general, I still prefer simpler character designs, but this was definitely a fun challenge, trying to see how much stuff from different characters I could work in. But let me know what you thought of this format. This week's all about experimenting with a few different kinds of things. This is probably gonna be a shorter video, I'm not totally sure. But should I try this again with a different franchise? Let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for more video game kind of content, I've done a whole bunch of Overwatch characters if they were in Dungeons and Dragons, with stories to go along with them. I did Apex characters if they were Kaijus. Usually I suggest videos that are similar to the one I just did, but this isn't that similar to other videos I've done on the channel. So, I don't know, if you're new here, maybe check out my spider bat video from a few days ago. That's one of my favorite videos I've done on the channel lately. But anyway, that's all for today. I'm Christian Pearson. This has been Popcross Studios, home of the nerdiest art videos on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when videos come out on Fridays and Mondays, and sometimes bonus episodes like this one. Alright everybody, goodbye.